Hello everyone and welcome to Cryptography Home. In this video we'll be discussing the Virginia Cipher. So the Virginia Cipher is a type of polyalphabetic crypto system and this means that it will encrypt m alphabetic characters at a time. So unlike monoalphabetic ciphers which work on each individual plain text element and will, they will encrypt that using the key, this will encrypt several characters at a time. And the result is that the cipher text is much more secure than the, that of a monoalphabetic cipher. For example, let's take a monoalphabetic cipher such as the Julius Caesar cipher. What will happen is this A could be encrypted to let's say a D. And the result is that the second occurrence of an A is most likely to also be encrypted to a D. However, with a polyalphabetic cipher, the chances are high that the first A could be encrypted to an L for example, and then the second A might be encrypted to an M. So by doing so, pardons are eliminated in your cipher text element which makes it much more secure. But as you can see this cipher is also pretty old, it's from the 16th century. So like I said we are moving on from the early crypto system, moving on further towards the modern day crypto systems. So this one was in the 16th century and it's one of the earliest polyalphabetic crypto systems. So with this video the encoding mechanism that we'll be using is similar to the ones that we've using before. We're using mode 26 which means that an A is a 0 and a Z is a 25 like we've been using in the previous videos. We'll also be using negative notation whereby Z is negative 1 and A is negative 6. So negative notation moves backwards and positive notation moves from 0 up to 25. So this is the encoding mechanism that we're using for this video. So in this uh, part of the video we'll be trying to encrypt a plain text element using the Virginia cipher. So given the plain text using Virginia cipher, which is the message that we want to send, and our key being ice cream, this is how the Virginia cipher works. The first step is for us to list down all the elements of the plain text. So in the first row, I've listed down using Virginia cipher, which is the plain text element. And the second thing that we do is we will encode this plain text element. And like I said, we're using mode 26. So a U is a 20, an S is an 18 and an I is an 8 and all those characters have been encrypted using this table that is on this page. So we're using mode 26 method of encryption. The next thing is to list down the key. So we start by listing the key ice cream and then you keep repeating the key until it fits the length of your plain text element. So in, in this case ice cream ends here but then our plain text ends here so we'll have to add the words I, C and E. So you have to repeat the elements as many times as the length of the plain text. If the plain text were longer, it means that would still continue with some of the other letters of the key. And as with the plain text, we also have to encode the key using mode 26. So in this uh, row, it's simply we've simply encoded these plain text elements. Now to encrypt the text, all that we have to do is to add the plain text elements and the key. So as you can see, 20 plus 8 gives us 28, and 18 plus 2 gives us 20. So in this row, we're simply adding the numerical values of the cipher text, of the plain text, sorry, and the numerical values of the key. And we're able to arrive at this uh, cipher text. And what's left is to now change this cipher text to mode 26. So like I said, mode 26 is simply the remainder after dividing by 26. So this row right here is simply us changing the cipher text to mode 26. So 28 is 2 and all the elements that are lower than 26 will remain the same. So as you can see 27 has been changed to 1. And lastly we simply have to decode the cipher text or change it back to uh, elements or letters. So we're using the same encoding mechanism that we have used for the plain text and the key and which is mode 26. So all these elements have been decoded back to a plain text element. And when you do that, uh, you then arrive to add your cipher text. So this message right here is a cipher text. Therefore, this follows that the message using Virginia cipher is encrypted to this cipher text, which is on the second point. And as you can see, the same letter can be encrypted to a different element. So if we go back to this uh, table, you see that this E has been encrypted to a Z, but this E has been encrypted to an I, and this E has been encrypted to a G and the other E has been encrypted to a V. So as you can see security is enhanced in that way because the same plain text element is being encrypted to a different cipher text element. Therefore 
polyalphabetic ciphers are much more secure than monoalphabetic ciphers. So the next thing that we're looking at is to decrypt using the Virginia cipher. So just as with encryption, first of all we have to list the cipher text element. So the first row is simply listing the cipher text uh, element. And then the next thing is to uh, list the numerical values of the cipher text element. So C is 2, U is 20. So we're using the same mode 26 method of encoding. And then next we're listing down the key. So I didn't have to write the key again because you already know what it looks like. But then this time we simply wrote down the numerical values of the key, of the same key. And then with decryption, all you have to do is to subtract. So it's the opposite. So we have 2 minus 8, which gives us negative 6, 20 minus 2, which gives us 18, 2 minus 4, which gives us 8, and so on and so forth. And next thing is we're changing uh, the negative values to the corresponding positive values. So negative 6 is 20, and negative 11 is 15, and all the other elements are remaining the same. So this is something that I like to do. You can still uh, leave the negative values if you prefer and it will still give you the same uh, plain text. So as the last step we're decoding this back to uh, letters. So 20 is U, 18 is S and so on and so forth. So as you can see we're able to get back to the message using Virginia cipher. So this shows that when you're encrypting you simply add the key and then when you're decrypting you simply have to subtract the key from the cipher text element. So just a few side notes on the Virginia cipher. It is said that the number of possible keywords is 26 to the power m, where m is the size of our, uh, of our key. So if your key has five elements, then the key space has size extending to 11,881,376. So this is the possible combination of the keys. In our case, the word ice cream has eight letters, which means that our key space is uh, 26 to the power 8. So there's 26 to the power 8 possible keys of size 8. And even better, if somebody doesn't know the size of your key, then the key space is even large. So in this case, we're assuming that somebody knows that the key is uh, maybe five elements or eight, but then in the case that they don't know, the key space is even large. However, this system is still not very secure with modern day computers because they will be able to try out all the possible keys in a matter of seconds. But however, generally cryptanalysis is more difficult when you compare polyalphabetic and monoalphabetic. So if you take a simple monoalphabetic cipher, like the Julius Caesar cipher, you only get 26 keys. But then with this type of cipher, you, you increase the number of keys. But even though it's still not very secure, it's much more secure than monoalphabetic cipher. So in general, uh, that was the Virginia cipher. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.